thanks thanks for this opportunity to et auto and uh, even uh, yeah in terms of etas as a player uh, we are been in the industry for close to 25 years more than 25 years and uh, we are a wholly owned subsidiary of bosch but uh, our uh, uh, space of operation is in terms of we are an independent player where we engage in terms of our middleware stacks and even in terms of measurement instruments and also in the sdv space yeah with the other automotive players like even competitors of bosch and even with several of the engineering service providers and things like that and our primary product offerings are mostly in terms of uh, cyber security stacks the middleware stacks then with respect to the uh, process methods and tools for the validations and also the complete end to end uh, stv stack yeah, from the an indian market perspective uh, the primary requirement yeah so we saw a presentation just now about cyber security yeah we see that that is going to become prominent especially with the number of connected vehicles that we are seeing in the market yeah so this is something even without the regulation coming into place we already see a lot of traction most of the oems are already learning the vulnerabilities and they are also kind of prepping their ecosystem yeah for uh, cyber security uh, adherence in the future and the second topic is with respect to the automotive middleware itself the where it is distributed across the asl a based or the what we call as the hard real time then we what we call as the autonomous based uh, uh, middleware and then we have the non safety or the qm based middleware yeah so these are certain areas where we see that this will gain traction in the coming days with more and more uh, oems also trying to develop software on their own and the third thing is with respect to the uh, the validations itself yeah so we heard quite a bit about uh, devops and things like that where it's also about continuous integration continuous development along with over their updates yeah so if you to enable this then for the software defined uh, vehicle system this becomes extremely important and so these are the three elements that we see will be critical in the coming days uh, yeah, in in theory yeah, for any player in the sdv space uh, yeah we would want it to be proprietary but that is not the way uh, it would work yeah because if you look at it from a business point of view uh, it makes sense that the sdv by itself yeah consists of several players and it is an ecosystem play yeah where we do not want or even the oem does not want to get locked in to a certain single uh, proprietary uh, offering or anything from a certain uh, yeah company in that sense yeah so they would want to have scalable modular architectures and also with this new generation ebari architectures we will see that this is the direction in which the ecosystem will also mature and based on this we will also see that all the oems will also start asking for where various uh, competitors by itself working together to enable the software defined vehicle i guess it's been wonderful yeah meeting a lot of uh, nice people the organization was excellent and uh, even the topics yeah the choice of topics and things like that i suppose it it was pretty interesting yeah the mix in terms of it could be technology it could be in terms of the uh, the invitees as well yeah it was good to meet old colleagues and all these yeah so it's nice and uh, i hope yeah uh, we are able to see more such events with much more scale in the coming years yeah